I'm Chantra P. Lewis, Director of Exhibitions and Programming at the Caribbean Cultural Center, African Diaspora Institute. I would like to invite you to join us for our celebration of Women of the African Diaspora during Women's History Month. We plan the month-long celebration of women of the African diaspora, particularly those who are leaders and practitioners of African sacred traditions. The first event that we have planned is the opening of the powerful exhibition, Wearing Spirit, aesthetically personifying the feminine and African sacred traditions. Today at the center, we're so pleased and excited to have one of our featured artists in the Wearing Spirit exhibition, Ima Nse Eme. Hello, Chantra. Hi, Ima. How are you? I'm very well. Hello, everybody. It's really, really wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. And we're so excited and thrilled to have you um, in the show. Your work is larger than life figuratively and literally. And speaking of, can you tell us a little bit about your background? I know you, are, you were born here in the States and your parents are from Nigeria, correct? Yes, yes. It is very interesting that the show deals with diaspora because I, I am Nigerian diaspora. I'm American born, but both of my parents and all of my family, um, they're all from Nigeria, the southeast area of Nigeria, um, an area known as Ibibio land, Nigeria. So we are Ibibio speaking people. Love it. And so the piece that you have in the show, can you tell us a little bit about that? Right. That, that work is titled Mechanisms in Uyai. Uyai in Ibibio means beauty. Uyai. Yeah, Uyai. Um, and uh, what the, the work deals with research that I did in Southeast Nigeria for my dissertation at Yale. It's an example, this work, of a woman's initiation ceremony known as Mbopo, where young women, young maidens uh, in a village enter so-called fattening houses, gain weight prior to marriage. And so the work itself deals with the ritual, mm -hmm. but it also deals with this, uh, the idea of the girl taking on both feminine and masculine modes of power representation wow. in order to have a conversation about her newfound status as an icon. Uh, it's something that hasn't been discussed so much uh, across the Atlantic here in the U.S., but I'm hoping that uh, through your show and other shows like it, uh, that this research and this work will get out and people will learn more about the, um, the iconic fattened bride of Ibibio land. And now you said that your grandmother actually participated in this ritual, correct? Yes, yes. My grandmother of, of my immediate family, she's the one who, I, mean, I met her when I was very young. Mm -hmm. um, I got to know her, but then she died when I was young. But she went through the ritual. So I've, I've grown up hearing stories about my grandmother going through this process. My mother would talk about these stories. And uh, by the time my mother and her siblings were coming up, the Catholic Church was had such a heavy influence that girls, instead of going to fattening houses, were going off to boarding schools. Right, right. But grandma went through this. Grandma, you know, uh, talks, talked about receiving an umbrella as a gift wow. from grandpa and riding on the shoulders of a man and having her body oiled. And so it's, it's really all of those, uh, all of those qualities are the things that I'm trying to capture in that work. And it is larger than life because it's, she becomes this larger than life figure. And it's, uh, it's all about celebrating her sexuality, but, but really about ce celebrating her chastity, her virginity. Um, that's that's one of the principal elements of the ritual. So she's uh, she's a sexual she's a powerful sexual figure, but she is so because she's a virgin. So there are a lot of interesting uh, correlations and conversations to be had uh, about about this ritual. And I and I, I really do hope that it makes a good contribution to the rest of the show. I'm very excited to see it. The Wearing Spirit exhibition features the work of 27 artists working in various media including photography, painting, sculpture, video, mixed media installation, textile art, and sculpture. This exhibition is celebratory as it is educational and we invite everyone to come in and join us in celebrating and honoring the feminine present within African sacred traditions. In addition to the Wearing Spirit opening reception, we invite you to join us for our other program celebrating Women's History Month. For more information, please visit our website at www.cccadi.org or call us at 212-307-7420, extension 3008. Madasi from everyone at the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute.